Hello, and welcome to a Mediocre Touch tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make this kind of effect. I'm not sure if it has a name, so I'm just going to call it the Personless Shadow Effect. It's a pretty cool effect. I saw it somewhere, but now I can't seem to find it. I want to give it credit, but I, I don't remember where I saw it. It was somewhere on StumbleUpon, because I was just on that one day. So if you do find it, Go ahead and tell me where you found it so I can give it credit. Anyway, I'm just going to go right into Photoshop here. And you're going to, what you're going to do just to get everything set up before you have, before you go into Photoshop, you're going to need to take two different pictures. I just took a bunch just to make sure I, I knew what I wanted. You're going to take two pictures. You're going to take one. Here, let's just go and do it real quick. Alright. You're going to take one with you standing there and your shadow. And then you're going to take another one with just your shoes. And make sure your shoes are in the exact same spot. And make sure the camera is in the exact same spot, too. So, you probably need a tripod or just something where you can keep the camera in the exact same spot and it's not going to move every time you take a picture. So one, two, that's all. Take your rectangular marquee tool yeah, and just select the whole picture with you and your shadow. Control C to copy and then go into your other picture. You can just get rid of this picture now. You don't need it anymore because you've already copied it. And then paste it with Control V. Double click this and just um, just make it so it's not locked anymore. Press OK. Go into layer one and go to your eraser tool. This is fine right here, just oh, whoops. right here, just to, it really doesn't matter. Just what you're just trying to do is erase your whole body down to your shoes. <laughs> I keep pointing at the screen, but you can't see me point there. Whoops. So this is my first tutorial, so I keep pointing at the screen thinking you can see me, but you can't. Anyway. Let's get off that tangent and I'm at 200 pixels right now, and hardness is at 29%. It really doesn't matter. Just just as long as it's not at 100, because then it can get a little jagged, just like little little things that just don't look good. So just keep it at a low low hardness, and just erase. It's very easy, and you can just erase all the way down your shoes. I can zoom in with Alt and scrolling up. At the same time, hold down Alt and scroll, and just erase, and you have the picture with your shoes in it, so it's very easy. You can just go right over your shoes, and your shoes will still be there on the other layer. Oops. Alright, and there you go, you're pretty much done right now. Um, to get the kind of green effect that I had in the other picture, let's just show you how it was before. So yeah, there's kind of a green effect going. That's called a cross, cross process. And to do that, you just go into adjustments, which is right above layers and go to the third one over which is curves there's the default and you can change this however you want maybe I'll make a tutorial on how to do this kind of stuff later and you can make some pretty cool effects like that if you want but the but the effect that I had was a preset and it's called cross process it's the second one down and that's that's the photo 
you know, if you like that tutorial, please comment. Let me know. Have a nice day.